When you initialize an instrument, an empty MIDI object is initialized with it. You can either start editing the object by defining the buffer size and inserting events, or by inserting a whole MIDI file. The MIDI object can be exported to your host or on your desktop as well. In today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to export MIDI by using drag and drop. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. You can only use one MIDI object at a time within an instrument. The MIDI object is held in memory and can be accessed by any of the script slots. It is possible to add, remove, and edit MIDI events within the object as well as import and export MIDI files. The multi-script can also hold one MIDI object and handles it in the same way as an instrument. If you want to create MIDI sequences from scratch, you first need to assign a buffer size which creates a number of inactive MIDI events. And from this point, you can activate and edit MIDI events using the MIDI event commands. MIDI objects can be exported from contact either by using the save MIDI file command or via drag and drop. In either case, it's possible to define the export area. Um, you can also set the start and end times and the start and end tracks by using export area, set export area. Today, we'll use a resource container with an image, a label with drag and drop enabled, and set export area. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is is create a resource container. All right, so before you make a resource container, what you need to do is you need to make the folder structure. So if you make a folder called resources and put in a folder called IR samples, pictures, and scripts, this is the folder structure you need to create a resource container. And there's a tutorial um, on the site that talks about um, how to make and use a resource container. Um, so I actually downloaded this um, this uh, icon that has an alpha channel um, from from the internet from Google and I resized it in Photoshop um, so this is the original size it's actually too big for what we need today so um, I made two different versions a 35 by 35 and a 65 by 65 um, the uh, the text file is pretty basic uh, has alpha channel yes um, everything else is zero and no because this this is not this there's no animation in this I'm just going to use it purely for a drag and drop target okay so that's it for the uh, the folder structure all right so I just need to uh, uh, create a resource container So I'm just going to specify where I want it to be saved. And it picked up three pictures. Okay, so now I can use it in my script. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I need um, to load a MIDI file. And instead of me doing it from scratch, I'm going to reuse one that I've already, I'm going to use a script that I've already have to load MIDI files. I'm just going to copy that into slot two of my instrument. And I have a MIDI file on my desktop called new MIDI file. And I'm going to load it. And as you can see, it loaded successfully. 
Now I'm going to switch back to slot two and start coding. All right, so I'm going to start with the perfume. I'm going to set the height. I'm going to set the title. Clear any messages. So I need a button to uh, set my export area. And this is totally optional. You don't have to set export area. If you don't set export area, um, you won't be able to define the name of the MIDI file and you won't be able to define the region that should be exported. I'm going to set the text of the button. I'm going to move the control. Put on one one. Oops. Typo. It's supposed to be message, not messages. And another typo. There we go. Alright, so we have our button. Now I need a variable to hold the uh, the status of set export area. And now I need my label. So I'm going to move the label. I'm going to clear the text on the label. Now I'm going to um, set the control parameter um, to drag and drop behavior. So I'll use set control parameter. I need to get the UID. Okay, so the actual parameter is called control parameter DND behavior. Now, when you set this to one, what it does is it makes it, it tells contact that the label is um, has is is able to be dragged and dropped basically. So it, it instead of just a label displaying information, it allows the the label to be like a hot spot where you can drag um, either onto your desktop or into your host. And setting it to one enables this functionality. All right, so this is what the label looks like um, without any image. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is put a image. Well, basically, I'm going to skin the label, and you do that by using set control parameter string. So once again, you need to get the user ID, and then the parameter is control par picture you only have to specify the name of the file you don't have to put the extension and I want to use a small one so I'm going to use small here and that is it so now we have a hotspot um, label that we can use for drag and drop before we do actually use it let's um handle our button set export area all 
All right, so we're going to use this for basically two things. The first is we want to set the export area. Um, I mean, for the, the this tutorial, I want to export the whole thing. So technically, I don't have to set the export area. But um, in real life, in a real life scenario, um, you might not want to export the entire uh, MIDI object. Maybe you just only want a bar. So this is how you do it. And the other thing that this gives you is it allows you to specify the name that the MIDI the MIDI file that you export should be called. So for instance, if you drag this to your desktop, this name that you specify here will be what's used for the name. And I want to take everything. So I'm taking um, everything from start to end and all tracks. I mean, all tracks start to end. Okay, so I, just, I set the aerial status to that and then I'm going to check the status to make sure that there's no errors. So if area status um, equals zero, then it was successful. Um, otherwise, there was an error. Oops. And if did something wrong here MF set export oops it's export area there we go okay so remember I loaded my MIDI file already I'm gonna click set export area export area set successfully and now I'm going to drag it into the host. And there we go. Keep in mind that in Contact 5.2, the MIDI file handling has been upgraded. So commands and working methods from earlier versions are still available for backwards compatibility. But for purposes of this tutorial, we'll use newer methods. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. I go make some music.